only one mech was ever allowed to call Sun Shrieker anything other than his full destination. Destination. <laughs> destination. And that was the I-20. Only because the Golden Warrior's twin could not be stopped. But when Sun Shrieker and Wheeljack be had begun seeing each other, the Golden Warrior had found that he liked Wheeljack's voice. Even when the green and red mech slipped up and called him Sunny or Sunflower. How do you mess up and call him Sunflower? That's my question. <laughs> Sun Shrieker smiled as he listened to Wheeljack babble about his latest invention. Using his geek speak, as I swipe called it, Sun Shrieker pretended to understand, understand <laughs> what the inventor was saying as he focused on the flashing headphones. Wheeljack smiled behind his mask, looking at Sun Shrieker curiously. Sunny? <laughs> I'm going Wheeljack to make his noise. Okay. Wheeljack watched as the Golden Warrior reached out to cup his chin, pulling it, pulling his mask face towards the gorgeous, gorgeous black and gold black block and wow. gold face. Shrieker, what are you? Sun Shrieker trailed his fingers over the other's jaw, searching for the catches to remove his mask. Wilduck stiffened, trying to pull away. I want to see your face. Sun Shrieker stated, finding the catches and undoing them quickly. Wilduck stopped the black and gold hand, but the warrior got creative, leaning for leaning forward to capture the top of the mask in his teeth and pulling it away. Wheeljack turned his head to hide his face with his head fins because they can totally move. <laughs> Wait. So he turned his... Okay, I, was, I thought he like grabbed his head fins and pulled them over his face. I was like, I don't think that's how this works. I'm pretty sure there's all of it. Anyway. Wheeljack? I am hideous. <laughs> Wheeljack stayed is pulling away. Don't leave me. <laughs> Sunstreaker leaned close, whispering against the other mech's audios. If I didn't want you, I wouldn't have started this in the first place. Wheeljack felt the other mech slowly reach out to turn his face, trembling as he stared at Sunstreaker. Everything was exposed in a massive twisted and crumbled plating and wiring. Sunstreak stared in fascination, reaching out to touch the mutilated face. Why? <laughs> Wheeljack trembled and flinched at the touch, trying to look away. You're beautiful. Sunstreaker whispered, turning the other face. A masterpiece. Wheeljack stiffened when he felt smooth, perfect lips on the place where his own mouth had once been surprised. Don't kiss that, it's broken! <laughs> so she had and run away screaming, that was good. Uh, from now on, only I can see your face, and you will show it when I ask you to. So she pulled Wheeljack closer possessively. You are my masterpiece, a work of my of art. Sunstreaker whispered against the other's face. My idol. If anyone had found out that Trax and Swoop were in a relationship, they would laugh. Being gorgeous Trax, sleeping with an intelligent, frightening Swoop, would seem like a joke. Swoop knew that there were hundreds of reasons people would come up with to try and rationalize the relationship. This grammar sucks. Trax was using Swoop, saw him as easy and interfacing. Wanted someone to boost his ego. Had pity for Swoop. Doubtless they, these thoughts had crossed Trax's mind just as often as they had crossed Swoop's, and so they both would meet in private at irregular times. Sometimes Swoop would manage to sneak into Trax's quarters. Sometimes the frontliner would have to climb the mountain to the nest Swoop had made in a cave a bit of distance from the ark. They worked like clockwork, having seemed to form an understanding of each other to a point where they didn't need to speak in order to say what they needed to. So if one saw the two bodies entwined on the berth, blue plane scraping off onto orange. They immediately feel their jaw hinges go slack. Swoop threw his head back, mouth open in a silent scream as Trax sent a powerful burst of energy across the hard line link they had created. Trax smiled as his orange lover, blue eyes hazy as he watched the younger mech's face crumple in ecstasy. Energetic, cheerful swoop. Orange plane is streaked with Trax's own royal blue paint, looking debauched with his cable exposed. Trax's hand stroking the prongs of the interface panel. 
Swoop, my beautiful swoop. <laughs> Trax whispered, staring down at his lover. Whatever others did, whatever they said, Swoop was always beautiful to Trax. Being red, the color of passion, of lust, of desires laid bare for the world to devour with their eyes and minds. Starscream had never believed himself to be such to be a sensual creature, even the hundred of mechs would agree that the secret was gorgeous. Hound couldn't understand why no one believed Starscream to be gentle, but so, the red and gray mech were actually more docile in their intimate times than Hound himself. The green tracker moved to wrap his an arm around Starscream's thin weight pulling him close and nuzzling into the slim neck, curling his tongue around the main energon vein. Starscream turned his head slightly, <laughs> wings pitched as they, he rested on Hound's chest, wings twitching slightly. Hound smiled at the blood-red eyes, his own blue hazy and clouded by sleep and lust. You're beautiful. <laughs> He stated softly. Starscream awkwardly shifted, looking away. Hound leaned up and cuffed the Seeker's Seeker's jaw. And I'll keep saying that until you believe it. Starscream allowed his face to be turned so that Hound could kiss him, sliding a blue hand up the green chest to stroke the area above his spark chamber. I love you. Starscream whispered, shy and embarrassed about saying it. Hound smiled back and kissed the heated cheek, licking the seam from optic to chin. I love you too, my star. And I'm done.